Kerin TV and Radio Podcast. Nim podcast many along ko wala bulo ba koma wala mo yona group. Yona group dum yona enterprise do wala kono yona enterprise dum atena tala kambe da handi. Mano sifa o sifa kabiling American rice kada for Pakistani rice yene be kilo tal lulta bijera ane kilo muani lulta lufanan bijera. Ando mana ada wala nifta dan nabiti koto vegetable cooking oil o lunga wala fanan suta lele bim munyen sarati tulo luti nga soft drinks o suta lele laminato le kafo miya tropics ane lito. Ando nga corn flour suta lele koima ane nata mungko miya lunko wale mu tubabu nya mungko ti. Nga sunflower cooking oil suta lele 5 liters ando nga sukuro suta lele miya lunko kabona mfo brazil boto kilo talu lu talu. Na spaghetti sota lele macaroni anin vermicello lu yin bebe na bitikoto le. Na bitikoto mbale da min prikama saate kono wolo mu joko gadi nyati dungo la nyambaye la sila baka prikama saate kono wala alie futa na bitikoto bako moto na kunda bawa miya lungo wole bale tipa garas bako te. Na lafta kuja wa mwela nyinku ol beto alkana ngoma kad telefon 376-7405 wala 221-1668 wala hani bi alsena free toll number kumandi 1124 yona enterprise nyinna nata kanda handi sako ndolo bado le mimbe kedi tv ane radio wala nyi podcast sabale na kabo birka masale Assalamu alaikum my fellow Gambians. I want to take a moment to address an issue I believe should be of great concern to every single one of us. And that has to do with the attempt by the President of the Republic, Adam Obaro, to appropriate the official residence of the Chief Justice of the Gambia and take control of the property and assume it as personal possession. Now let's establish two things to begin with. The Chief Justice of the Gambia is a constitutionally prescribed position. His responsibilities, his powers and his role in our democracy is specifically enumerated in our constitution. Now his residence is public property. His residence is not the personal property of the whoever the chief justice is at any given time. His residence, just like the state house, just like the governor's residence, just like the quadrangle, just like any government allocated real estate, belongs to the Gambian state and to the Gambian people. The president has no right under any circumstances to appropriate that land. What he is attempting to do is manifestly corrupt, it is illegal, and it must not stand. I want to urge every citizen to make this simple demand. <clears throat> to tell the president the Chief Justice is a constitutional office holder. His residence is Gambia government property. You have no right to appropriate that land under any guise. Nobody and no provision of law can allocate that land to you. What you are doing is manifestly corrupt. It is driven by greed and it must not stand. Now, to then challenge the country and everybody else to say, let them prove to you that the Chief Justice has title to this land. I think that is a very shameful statement from a head of state. You know that the Chief Justice is a constitutional office holder just like you are. The residence that the Gambian state allocates to him does not belong to him. And then there is no title that says that this is a lease property to the Chief Justice. Gambia government property is just Gambia government property that is already asserted in law. You cannot then demand for people to provide proof that has no basis in law. This is not your property 
and then we the citizens we will not allow you to appropriate it we will not allow you to steal it and then we will not allow you to falsify documentation and give it a legal imprimatur when it is an illegal transaction you must return this land to the gambian people and then if you demolish an existing structure there you must be held liable for destroying gambia government property we are not a banana republic we are not a uh, an antebellum southern plantation where we have a lord who owns our land who can get it whichever way he wants he can get it even under the normal land allocation procedures of the gambia as provided for under the law you are not entitled to get government allocated land because you already possess land you are not qualified under the law for ordinary land allocation you are certainly not qualified to seize to steal to attempt to false in a falsified manner allocate land that is already designated government property this is illegal this is an insult to the gambian people and then this is you have brought you have brought this repute to the high office that the gambian people entrusted you with we are not going to lay down law and let you steal our property and let you seize our property and let you uh, make a mockery of our laws and 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 and, and let you ridicule and the, the 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 provisions of the law that says the chief justice of the gambia is entitled to residence in fajara you will not take this residence you may try to believe that because you are the president today you can claim this residence but you have to be rest assured that you will be pursued to the ends of the earth to make sure that this land returns back to its rightful owners you ask who owns the title it is everybody who is a resident from kumutobara all the way to sametenda from uh, fatodo all the way to karon those are the people who own that resident in the name of their country the country that you didn't give them it is allah who has given gambia to gambians you cannot take what does not belong to you we demand you stop this illegality we demand you pay for structures that you've damaged over there if you falsify documents if you send your ministers to go and pout and pound their chest that you are entitled to what is not yours i am here to tell you as one ordinary citizen that this will not stand you will not take this property from the gambian people and make it your home what kind of greed is this what kind of lawlessness is this what kind of disrespect is this to the gambian people you have homes however you got your previous homes is your business but we are not going to sit down and then have you appropriate what is government property and then simply just call it yours just because you call it yours doesn't make it yours just because your equally corrupt and discredited minister is pounding his chest that you can have this doesn't mean that you can have it you cannot have this land you will not have this land we demand that you return this land we demand full restitution for the destruction you have done even if you have found one block there you had no authority to touch that block and to remove it why must we sit down and watch you violate our constitution why must we sit down and see you seize the official residence the chief justice did not give himself that residence it is the gambian state that said this is the residence of the chief justice just as they built a courthouse they said this is your office from which to discharge your duties on our behalf you stand in public and then you say you you demand that a lease be produced with the name of the chief justice on it do you even know the laws for which you have sworn to uphold do you respect the laws do you respect the people who constructed that laws do you respect the gambian people you may not but we have not lost our respect for ourselves we demand that our laws be respected we are not going to allow you to steal our property to appropriate it and then to make it your own if you want a million homes you will have to find another way to get it but it is not going to be at the expense of our established laws 
You may try to get away with it for now. The position you occupy is a transient one. You will be out of there. You have not learned any lessons from your predecessor. In some respects, you are worse than your predecessor. In your insatiable greed, in wanting everything for yourself and nothing for the people that, are, that you have sworn to serve. Why should we let you take the residence of our Chief Justice? Why? You will and you must return this property unconditionally and you must pay for any demolition that you have done over there. Either you do it now, you will... Nimbekerin TV and radio podcast. Nim podcast, many alonko wole buloba koma, wole mu yona gurupti. Yona group dung, yona enterprise do wada kono, yona enterprise dung atenata de kambe da handi. Mano sifa o sifa kabirin American rice karako Pakistani rice yine be kilo tal lulta bijeda ane kilo muani lulta lufanan bijeda. Ando manada wola niftadan na biti koto vegetable cooking oil o lunga wola fanan sotale le bimu nye salati tulo luti nga soft drinks o sotale le lemonato le kafo miye tropics ane lito. Ando nga corn flour sotale le koima ane nata munko mi alonko wolle mu tubabu nya munkoti nga sunflower cooking oil sotalele 5 liters and nga sucro sotalele mi alonko e carbon for brazil boto kilo talulu talu nga spaghetti sotalele macaroni anin vermicello lu ni bebe na bitikotore na bitikodo mbale da mi prikama sate kono wolo mu joko garden nyati do wala nyambaila silaba kan prikama sate kono wala ali futan na bitik ba ko moto na kunda ba mi alonko wolo bale tipa garas ba kote Na lafta kuja wa mwela nyinku olbeto, alkana ngoma kad telefon 376-7405 wala 221-1668 wala hanibi alsena free toll number kumandi 1124. Yona Enterprise nyinna nata kandahandi sako ndolo bado lele. Mimbekeri TV ane radio wale nyi podcast sabale na kabo birikama sabale.